Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Yes, we're a bit behind. I am so sorry for that. We have just been extremely crazy year to say the least. Anyways, let's get into your reading Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of November going into the first week of December 2020 in regards to your love and romance. Now your first card here Sagittarius is the 10 of cups, the star card. The Chariot card, wow, very strong energy here. The Page of Cups. Your partner or person of interest, we have the King of Cups. The Ace of Cups. The Ten of Wands. And the Magician card, wow, very strong, strong connection. And the bottom, I just happened to see, is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For others of you, you may be dealing with Water Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer. For others, Aquarius type of energy or a specific Cancer. I see all the signs here, really. How you're viewing the situation or how you're viewing your partner. With the Ten of Cups, I see you guys very excited about the future. I see you guys really putting... Uh, your intention towards what you're wanting to manifest. Uh, the star card speaks about illumination, being able to see, uh, being able to acknowledge a soul type of connection for some. With the chariot, very quick momentum, very quick movement that is going to be unfolding in the coming weeks for you. With the page of cups, there is a love offering or an, a love potential here that the universe is aligning for you. Sagittarius. Um, with the star card and the chariot, I feel that you are going to be enchanted or you're going to be, you're going to be starstruck with a connection or with an individual that is really going to captivate you. Uh, there is something almost like very magnetically attracted to them there is this very strong pull towards them. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like fantasy kind of. So for some of you guys, it could be that this person could be very mysterious. Uh, it could be a person that is very spiritual for some. Um, and there's this just special allure to them. Um, now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, this person is going to smack the hell out of you <laughs> when they step in it's like they're i don't know there's there's something that is like really pulling me towards this ten of cups and the star card uh it's almost like a person that you've been hoping for you've been praying for kind of like the universe answering all your prayers when we're talking about relationships now how this person or the person um of your interest, how they view the situation with the King of Cups. I see them emotionally available. Uh, there's definitely a connection. Um, if you are recently, you know, have been dealing with this type of energy, uh, and I say recently because I do have the Ace of Cups, so I feel like it's a recent connection. Uh, but for some, it could be that you've been dealing with this person for a while. Nonetheless, I do see them being very emotionally available. They're very receptive to your energy with the ace of cups they definitely do see potential with you um the ten of wands could indicate uh feeling a bit overburdened perhaps it's an individual that is very busy perhaps they work a lot uh it's difficult for them to like fully give you all the attention that you're wanting but you definitely both feel some type of like pull to towards each other it's almost like a magnetic pull that they're telling me and the magician card just, you know, strengthens the, the the connection that I was sensing here with the Ten of Cups and the Star card. Um, so it could be almost like you both have manifested each other or you both have been wishing for one another without knowing that you were wishing for that specific person. It's like the universe is conspiring to bring you guys together. I definitely do see you guys going into a new cycle in your life where you're going to be experiencing a lot of emotional fulfillment. For a lot of you guys starting new relationships, for others of you, 
there is a rejuvenation of this relationship, a renewal of this connection um, in a very spiritual way. I'm sensing like the energy is just palpable. Um, if you have not met this individual as of yet, do not worry because you're going to know exactly who the cards are speaking about. It's like I said, they are giving me like a palpable type of energy where it, it's just so difficult to shake off. Like you're just going to be drawn to each other. Um, so you're definitely going to feel that. And with the Ten of Wands in this tarot, it's very fiery, intense type of energy. Uh, so definitely very positive. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is in regards to this connection. Spirit, what is the direct message that you want to convey to Sagittarius for this situation in regards to their love and romance? Spirit. Oh. Chemistry. Like I said, I am feeling, you guys, I kid you not, I am literally feeling like like every single part of me is like just it is, I, I can't describe it it's a very strong type of energy it's a very it's like when two people that are vibrating to the highest of their frequencies come together that type of energy the type of energy where you see a friend or someone that is in a in a very loving relationship and like everyone around can just feel the love that they have for each other. That's the type of energy that I'm feeling here. What they're telling you is there is a strong magnetic attraction. <laughs> magnetic is another word that they gave me. So again, if you have not met this person, you're definitely going to know who the cards are speaking about in the coming weeks because it's going to be a connection that you probably up until now have not experienced as of yet. So definitely embrace that, Sagittarius. Embrace this new beginning. Um, if you guys are currently still dealing with residue energy or people from the past, uh, definitely it's time to start new. It's, it's time to start a, a fresh new start um, and embrace this new beginning that's coming towards you guys. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.